The government has received the advice of Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health and the COVID-19 Command Table, recommending that the province close down all public elementary, middle and high schools for two weeks following March break. And I've issued a ministerial order under the Education Act to close all publicly funded schools from March 14th, 2020 through to April 5th, 2020. Minister Lecce, I was hoping you could uh, clarify or confirm that there is actually no, there's no return date now on on children coming back to class. And do you have any sense of, of when you'll know and be communicating to parents what the plan is? Look, I, I think it's well known that the government, the premier, every one of us, we want kids to be in school. There's just uh, overwhelming evidence. It's it's the best place for them for their mental health. We appreciate that fully. The decision point we've made today is to continue remote learning based on the medical advice that came to us that it actually would be better um, to help reduce the community transmission to help keep these school settings safe by keeping them home learning but keeping them home uh, we will provide advice uh, rather we'll communicate to parents Hello, I'm appreciative of the invitation to add my congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. You are indeed a unique class. You began high school in grade nine, anticipating the normal process to unfold. I don't think any of us predicted how our lives would change beginning in March, 2020. You've made it through extraordinary times filled with uncertainty and challenge. So let me begin by saying, give yourself a huge pat on the back for being a graduate despite the tough times that have fallen on us. You are what history will reference many years from now. With your graduation also comes the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of the pandemic. We're all optimistic that conditions for life are changing. I want you to know that as, as I have seen classes learning this year and reaching out, I've been incredibly moved by the optimism of this generation and your willingness to stand up and make a difference. We know that the pandemic impacted those in vulnerable situations the hardest. I have seen your compassion and care for community. While these past days have been tough ones, my hope is that moving forward, we create a kinder and more community-oriented world as a result of what we have experienced. This pandemic has shown us the importance of the collective, that we're all interdependent, and that we understand the importance of putting community safety before individualistic desires. Thank you to each of you for all that you've given to your school and to the broader community. I want to acknowledge your family and our staff during this celebration. Thank you to them for the times that they've assisted you in your learning and well being. We've all become much more familiar and flexible as remote learning has dominated the school year. This pandemic has reinforced how we're all learners and the importance of compassion and care. The wonder of science as we saw how research and public health policy developed through almost lifetime evidence. The joy of art as we saw poets such as the young American Amanda Gorman inspire the world with her spoken word, the hill we climb. And closer to home as school communities shifted creatively into trying to build a new kind of learning and connection. I feel every confidence that you will move forward and create a meaningful path from this point. Sometimes those paths may not be linear and that's okay, as long as you're continuing to learn and to strive to be informed by kindness and social justice. I know that you've been shaped by what you have experienced, and I also know that your school and families did all they could to support you in succeeding. Tonight, please also take the opportunity to reach out and thank the individuals who have made a difference in your life and encouraged you in your journey. A life shaped by gratitude is a life that is bound to be rewarding as you give thanks for good things. So once again, my sincere congratulations on your accomplishment. I look forward to welcoming you back as Durham District School Board alumni at future events. Hello graduates, my name is Carolyn Morton and I'm the chair of the DDSB Board of Trustees. 
On behalf of the Board of Trustees at the Durham District School Board, we are so proud to congratulate you on this major accomplishment. Often this ceremony signifies the conclusion of one chapter of our lives and the beginning of a new chapter that has yet to be written. This last year of school was not what anyone wanted or expected. We all hoped our routines would have returned to normal. In spite of this, you persevered. You succeeded in completing your studies and taught us that we can all move forward despite the challenges we will face in life. This is also a time for us to reflect and to give thanks. We give thanks for the many relationships and the bonds that we have forged and nurtured with fellow students and teachers. We are grateful for the varied programs and the rich experiences which have been provided by our educators and our coaches. There are many opportunities ahead for you, whether it's the opportunity of a post-secondary education at college or university, the opportunity to pursue a skilled trade through an apprenticeship program, or the chance to enter the world of work. We are thankful for our choices and the support of our families and community. Your secondary school diploma means the beginning of new challenges and the promise of success in the future. Remember that education is not limited to schools which you attend. It is a lifelong process. Adopting the mindset of a lifelong learner will serve you well. Continually adding knowledge and skill sets to your arsenal will equip you to manage the many changes and challenges which you will encounter. Be proud of the person that you have become. Take pride in your accomplishments. Contemplate your goals, then proceed with passion and confidence. Thank you parents and guardians, grandparents and educators, for being positive role models for our graduates. You've provided strong root systems which will anchor and guide, but you've also provided and allowed our young people to grow and spread their wings. You too, families and teachers, should celebrate the success of our children and our students. On a final note, graduates, on behalf of the Durham District School Board, I wish each of you good fortune and much success in future endeavors and happiness wherever life may lead you. It is now time to start planning and writing that next chapter. Stay strong, stay safe, and be well. And once again, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, 2021 East Hill graduates on a job well done. This is an important milestone for all of you, and it opens the door to the next stage of the adventure. Whether your path is work, apprenticeship, college, or university, my hope is that your days at Eastdale have successfully set you on the right path of this journey. As I was thinking about what I wanted to say to all of you, I realized that it is exactly 35 years since I was in your shoes. The opportunities are exciting, and my hope for all of you is that you find the path and purpose that make your heart full. As Chadwick Boseman said, Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are here on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. I encourage you to remember to be kind, to treat others as you would like them to treat you, and to live a life filled with purpose. Remember the people who supported you along the way and pay it forward by supporting others. Take time to thank the people who were there for you and helped you succeed. Congratulations on your accomplishments and best of luck on the next stage of your journey. The options are endless. Hello Eagles. I want to take this opportunity to say having started here new in September last year, it was a pleasure to get to know some of you. Well, at least for the first few quadmasters. And then I was moved to virtual school and then I couldn't get to get to know you very well. Well, except for those of you that came to virtual school with me. Then I got to know you a little bit better. And nonetheless, when I returned to Eastdale in July, it was a little too late to get to get to know you any better. But in our brief crossing of paths, here's what I did learn when I got to know you. I learned that you are a group of graduating students that's resilient, fun, adaptive, creative, patient, and full of potential. 
I have no doubt that the trials and tribulations you have faced over the last couple of years have prepared you more for the ever-changing world that we live in than anyone before you. Be proud of yourselves for what you've accomplished. I know we are, and so are your loved ones. Congratulations and all the best for what lies ahead for each and every one of you. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. You are a resilient bunch. Right now, most of you are off doing new things such as working full-time or post-secondary education. I have no doubt that your experiences over the past few years have taught you more than the curriculum and you have developed life skills that will help you to be successful wherever you are. For example, you have completed courses that you never knew you were taking, such as Hand Cleaning 101, Advanced Mask Wearing, Social Distancing 2.0, sharing is not caring in a pandemic, enriched Google Classroom, and advanced D2L. On a serious note, you have learned about resiliency, perseverance, new ways of communicating and completing work. You have had to be flexible, adaptable, and patient. All of these skills, among others, are what will bring you success in your future. I hope you carry with you many memories of your time at Eastdale that you stay connected with us, your teachers, and some of your friends in the years to come. Remember that you are in control. You control your reactions, your actions, and your attitude. You've got this. On a final note, no graduation speech is complete without a quote, and so I will leave you with one from Michael Josephson. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Congratulations, graduates. Class of 2021, it is my great honor to introduce your valedictorian, Zaid Cathcart. Zaid is one of the most exceptional students I've had the pleasure of working with in my 23 years as a teacher. I feel very fortunate to have taught him in the leadership and peer support class and to have been his teacher advisor for both Diversity Club and the Eastdale Peer Tutors. At Eastdale, Zaid went above and beyond in everything he did, both in the class and out of the class. He was involved in every area of the school community, right from the very first week in grade nine to the very last day of grade 12. Even during the pandemic, Zaid remained involved in every committee and council he could be part of, and he continued to give of his time and energy selflessly. Zaid has a long list of things he was involved with here at Eastdale. He was a peer mentor, peer tutor, diversity club leader, athletic council member, cross country runner, swim team member, Drug Youth Awareness Committee Leader, Safe Schools Committee Member, and Mental Health Committee Leader. He was also our Student Council Deputy Prime Minister and a student senator. Zaid is a true leader, and he leads because he cares. At Eastdale, Zaid wanted to make a difference, and he did. He was always among the first person to ask, like, what can I do? What, how can I volunteer? How can I help? And over his four years here at Eastdale, he truly actively worked to make the school a better place and to help others in his community. Zaid exemplifies true service. As I always tell my students, and I tell my own children this too, there are many ways to define success. You know, many people think, well, as a student, how do we define success? People think of good marks. They think of getting involved in the school community. You know, Zaid does fit that definition of success. But what matters most? If you ask me, it's about who you are. It's about your strength of character. It's about grit. It's about integrity. It's about how you treat others. In all these ways and more, Zaid represents the best in us through his kind spirit and his strong character. Class of 2021, without further ado, I present to you your valedictorian, Zaid Cathcart. Welcome and congratulations, class of 2021. It's been a long ride, but we're finally here. It's kind of weird that high school has come to a close, isn't it? Back in grade nine, a four-year block felt like it had last forever. And those long nights of cramming once in a while really accentuated that feeling. But we still made it and over some very unique obstacles, from the nuisance of internet connection to the threat of eternal boredom. Although we lacked many of the experiences that would usually help us grow, our perseverance paid off, 
Everybody should be very proud of themselves for pulling through this unprecedented time to see the end of this chapter. I'd applaud you if you could be here. To begin, I'd like to thank all of the wonderful staff here at Eastdale, teachers and administrators, for all the care you've put into our education. The fruits of our labor are thanks to much of your guidance and support. I'd like to thank all of the parents and family out there for supporting us throughout our high school careers. You being there the last four years has been invaluable. And last but not least, I'd like to thank all of my peers for all the good times. It's been fun. Additionally, I'd like to make some personal thanks. Won't be long. Firstly, to Ms. Coronado, because your guidance has been incomparable in shaping who I am today. To Mr. Low Spicer, because your casual vibes and outfits always made math feel a little less tense. To Mr. Civitilli for setting this all up for me. To Patrick and Chiara for always distracting me with funny random things. And to Sam for keeping me grounded and reminding me to have a good time along the way. On the day we started high school, I like to think we turned the first page of our story. Now this can be a comic, novel, manga, whatever you prefer. I personally prefer manga. And one of the first challenges we encountered was finding those supporting characters in our stories. Some of us had already found those people. Others had to search a little more thoroughly, like me. First year had a lot of other struggles too. We were new to things like exams, electives and decisions, etc. And although we all had different classes, I think it's safe to say that lessons were pretty challenging, but approachable, like learning a new recipe. Homework, on the other hand, was more like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. And then tests and summatives, I swear they bumped that up to like detective work difficulty. Am I the only one that felt lied to like that? And not only that, but with all this interspersed with work and extracurriculars or hobbies, anyone else find it odd we still had to do the dishes when we came home? It was fun though, and it was entertaining. I mean, I have to say that because my year started with my friends whipping popcorn chicken at the back of my head from back at Mr. Park's math class. Looking at you, Isaac. Eventually, though, we found our footing in those supporting characters in our stories, whether they came in smoothly or not. We got accustomed to the workload, and like a main protagonist, we looked at the hill in front of us and climbed. With that arc out of the way of passing, we thought we could relax for a bit in grade 10. And it was interesting, having time to get to know our friends a bit better and working on ourselves but we constantly had the threat of the main villain looming over us, post-secondary decisions. Some of us were career matching, figuring ourselves out, ready to take on the threat. Others, like me, chose to watch Pokemon playthroughs and binge Netflix a bit more. Or rather, binge the act of scrolling Netflix, maybe finding a movie and then watching like half of it. I have to give personal thanks again to Mr. Kennedy for all his great coaching skills, because without him, I would have been hopelessly stuck to my screens. It's really fun meeting all of my running buddies and teammates as well. I have to say that athletics was one of my funnest high school memories, and I'm sure I'm not alone in saying that. And finally, we reached the point where the main conflict was in front of us. The climax of our high school careers, not grade 12, grade 11. Some of us found that this was the biggest time for our development, intimidated by expectations and reevaluating ourselves in futures, constantly battling for grades or guidance. But whether we knew it or not, we were prepared. Along the way, we had been making friends, learning from our many, 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 many failures and we learned a few new skills along the way too. With all these factors in mind, we pulled through. After that, all that was left was to wait. Although our grade 12 was pretty different from previous years and 
definitely different from previous graduates grade 12s. I like to think of things like an update to an adventure game. It may have been unfamiliar, but the challenge of our new playing style will only make us more adaptable as we tread forward. With our long or short-term futures decided, we worked diligently to maintain our momentum. Now, we're here, wherever our stories have led us for now. Although our time together in clubs, social events, and just hanging out with each other may have been slightly fleeting, it was sweet, like a tall glass of lemonade, and made our hearts flutter just long enough to remember the taste. So, in the last year, many of us have looked for that same flavor in our lives when it was kind of scarce, searching for our own ways of reaching that same refreshment. So now, I encourage you all to remember that fulfilling flavor and to pursue it moving forward in whatever capacity you can. I know the path ahead may not be clear, but I'm sure that the curtain will rise on everything that we hope to have, achieve, and become in the future. We may stumble, but like we always have, I know we'll be able to pick ourselves back up. And if someone stumbles next to us, I'm sure that we'll be able to extend to them the same kindness that has warmed our high school experiences. This is your story, everyone, so have fun, and here's to the class of 2021. Thanks everybody for coming today to help participate in this amazing festivity. Uh, so our first grad should be coming through at about So we are so proud of you, Zaid, here at Eastdale. Like everyone, uh, like we just feel so happy that we had a chance to have you here at our school. I'm really um, honored to have been at our, our school. Yeah, yeah I mean, experience. honestly, like we all miss you already here at Eastdale. Um, you really made a difference here uh, in terms of all your leadership and what you've done to to kind of just be that role model student that everyone you know looks towards. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, just what? so so proud of you, Zaid. Like I am so proud of you. We are all very proud of you here. I was honored to present be honored you with your cups. Thank you so much.
see you. We had a lot of like conversations and after that again with the pandemic and it's like it's people. Secondary School Diploma. He is on the honor roll. He is an Ontario scholar. He has received the Ontario Principals Council Award, the Rotary Club of Oshawa Award, the Eastdale Student Council Award, and he had the highest marks in grade 12 poet physical education. What a well-rounded young man. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. Thank you for being great, Miss Charles. 